Hello again. Uh, yesterday I talked about how to make a star field in Adobe Photoshop and I took that and expanded it on a little bit. Let's see, I put a little nebula type thing here and a brighter star with some dust and I threw in Deep Space Nine and the Defiant. Um, I just found pictures on the internet. I think they're from uh, the game Star Trek Online, but I'm not sure. Um, whoever made them, thanks. They're handy. And, but anyway, I just loaded them up and pretty much cropped them out. Um, not perfect, but good enough to throw into here. Um, which works pretty good. You can, you know, drag them around, whatever. Put them where you want them. Um, today, I'm going to take this PSD file and load it into After Effects. You see here, I did one already, and it came out like this. Nothing too exciting, um, but a fun little project anyway. Yeah, I know the Defiant didn't work out quite right, uh, but I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. So let's go ahead and new project. First thing you need is a new composition. Um, this file is 1080p, um, but I'm going to go ahead and do it at 720p. That way I got a little extra room with the star field. So let's change this to 720. Where is it at? I was just looking at it. Then we're going to import a file, and you want to make sure you save that as um, a PSD file, and I think that's the right one. Open it, and you want to set the import type to composition retain layer sizes and editable layer styles. And as you can see here, first it imports that as a composition. Um, see, you just open that up, and it pretty much puts it all in for you. I mean, it's almost perfect, which is great, but that's not what I want to do right now. First, we drag down the background copy and the background, and you want to put the that and I named that layer that layer penis because it kind of looked like one so yeah and throw in that was originally going to be a wormhole it didn't work out but I liked it so I kept it uh, medium stars I'll put that right behind the nebula thing and Deep Space Nine and Defined. Oops. It's supposed to be Deep Space Nine. Okay, you can see we got them all there. Well, first thing you want to do is take the background, change it to screen. I think you need to do this, but I also change that to screen in case I move them around. Medium stars, uh, you may or may not have that one, but uh, basically they're just little white dots with a Gaussian blur. Change that one to screen. And one more screen. And we want to leave those two the same. Okay, now, next. We have four to change that to this, the little workbox here, and set them all to 3D. Now, since I got a 1440p monitor, um, I do two views, horizontal. Um, you might just want to do one view, horizontal, whatever works for you. 
and select the two backgrounds. It's a little bigger. So you can see better. Select the two backgrounds and just slide them back. Now, medium stars, we're going to do the same thing, but since you're a little closer, so you can see that one right there, hopefully. This one's not as critical as the other two. And the nebula will slide that back. screen a little bit. And a little star thing, we'll slide that back. And we can just track this one, it's easier that way. Right behind the nebula. Drag it up and over. Now, deep space nine, try that over. Oops, missed. And the defiant. Uh, let's slide that down. Basically, we're doing the same thing as I did in the other one without the sound. Grab Z. And let's move right there. Okay, that's all well and good. But it just sits there. Yeah, it's in 3D space, but yeah, it just sits there. So, what we're going to do get a layer, new camera. You can play with this however you want. I'm just going to leave it at default. And we have a new camera that we can move in 3D space. So man, get really close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can change. Oops. Change white points. All that neat stuff. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is find out where you want to start. So I'm going to slide the Z back in the camera. You can see right away, if we're going to start at this wormhole, we'll star, whatever it is, as our perspective, we need to move the nebula. So I'll select that. There, so we're gonna bring it forward. I can get it selected. Okay. And I'll find the camera and zoom in. I'll switch this to front to see. Okay, that's where everything is. Uh, okay, change that to camera one. Okay, set the active camera. Okay. Oh, we want this one top, I'm sorry. There we go. Now, see, that's where we want the camera to start at. So we'll go to camera options. Transform. Let's mark that like that. <clears throat> Let's go to comp settings here and see. 
Alright, we got 11 seconds, so we'll go to... We'll just set it to here. And reset. So now... Let's get a little pan out like that. Real easy to do. Okay, you get the idea. It's going to stop here. All oh, well and good, but there's no motion whatsoever. Um, so it's basically a still image in 3D space. Great. Yeah, that's not too exciting. So we'll move the defiant. So the camera's done, we're done with that. So let's go to defiant. Transform. Now we find where the defiant comes into the picture. Which looks to be right away pretty much. So we're just gonna start it moving right away. So we hit that for position. Let's find out where the camera ends. So it's at 20 frames. Oops. 20 frames. Like that the position. And we're just going to move it off the screen. We want it to go this way. Since that's kind of the way it's facing. So pretty much it's going to zoom right off the screen, hopefully. Or go really slow off the screen. Let's zoom that in some. It's just one view. Active camera. Basically, what we got here is uh, have a little shot of the defiant part of it and going into the space station. Pretty much all there is to it. And you can add sound. Uh, you can even add an effect if you want it to go faster. Um, you can shoot it right off the screen and then put like a little flash and sound effect for it going to warp. Um, I believe there's even an effect for it to make it go into warp. Which is all great, so you just render it, control M. Uh, I always set it to XVID unless I'm doing something else. <laughs> something more specific. And if you got audio, you just do that, whatever, and then hit your render. The, again, the point of this video is just to show how simple it is to add this sort of thing um, from Photoshop directly into After Effects. Uh, I'm guessing they did that on purpose. <laughs> and there we go. Here's the video. Exciting stuff. Well, that's all there is to it. Um, if that helped you out, uh, great. If not, oh well. <laughs> Sorry.